hello, Sagittarius and Cross Watchers alike. Duh, 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 okay, I'll stop. Anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome to your February reading for this current year. Yay. Anyway, um, Sagittarius and Cross Watchers alike. This is for the sign of Sagittarius and Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So this is. It, if it resonates with you, goo goo. If not, you boop your nose, away it goes. No point in worrying about shit that ain't nothing to do with you or ain't none of your damn business because that's how we roll. Or you can stick around and be nosy. I really don't give a shit because this is public and I don't know everybody's signs. Anyway, Sagittarius, uh, I believe I talked to you guys a little bit about this the last time I did a reading for y'all. Very much consistent with the idea. The idea. You need to let some shit go you've been hanging on to. Like a particular friend of mine, definitely, uh, I can see her in this for sure. With a couple other people I know. Um, a little bit of myself included as well, since I'm Sag rising, so I'm gonna talk to you guys any way I fucking want to, you know, because that's just how I roll. Mm. Anyway, Sagittarius, um, this is like coming to an understanding of sorts. Oh my god, Stephanie, what? I don't know who Angel of Darkness is. She started sharing esoteric shit because it did her cards once and now she's just like, my best friend got me fucked up on this shit and I don't know what to do. And I'm like, just meditate. It'll be okay. Um, watch out for the thing under your bed. And then she's like, what? And I was like, don't worry, it's not real. <laughs> but anyway, Sagittarius, look it, right? You need to be com you're comfortable with yourself because you've been left out in the cold for so long. Like nine of pentacles with the five of pentacles, right? This makes a uh, 12, so there's a 10, and then there's also a two. So it's like you're happy, but you still got options around you as well, right? Huh. Down below. With the situation, you got the hangman with the nine of wands reverse. It's like you're at a crossroads and it's time to let your guard down a little bit. Over here, we got you. Possibly coming together with someone you really don't like or what? Or it's like, a, like, could be an unfaithful spouse, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, but I feel like that's not even really the sign as much as it is just like the energy because it's just kind of like you know i want to come together but i don't want to be with a fuckwit and that's all i keep getting is fuckwits or something like that and it's just like bro everybody's a fuckwit even you um everyone's just a fuckwit in their own way all right y'all school challenges communicating defeat i feel like not being able to stand your ground with somebody or something, or where you are, or maybe you're worried you'll be the unfaithful one. Who knows? Anyway, um, we got the six of swords and the fears and rejections with the five of wands. It's like trying to move away from all the conflict, all of the shit. But if you notice, none of these dudes are actually hitting each other with sticks. They just got them in the air, being like, "My dick is bigger. My dick is bigger. Look at my glorious penis." You know, just like do dick sword fighting contest but they're not even fighting their swords you're just stretching it out to see which one can like make it stretchiest like if they were pinocchio they'd be lying their asses off yeah oh my god maybe that's how penises work anyway um six of wands with the eight of cups reverse in how this shit starts how it'll end where it's like you're gonna make a victory and finally like moving past the shit the happier things and you're gonna be using your judgment, either to resurrect yourself or something else. I don't know, bros. So that's up for you to decide. Sad and cross watchers alike. So let us see. You know, I don't know why, but I have this memory of this guy who is a Cancer Gemini. No, Gemini Cancer cusp. Because I guess we gotta go in order, right? Right. Because people would be confused. Like, what do you mean by Cancer Gemini cusp? Like, when did they go backwards? <laughs> but I remember this dude. And I don't know why, but it's like I'm looking over your shit, y'all, right? 
And it was while I was doing the, uh, what was it? I think it was Divine Masculine Reads when I was still doing the counterparts before I decided, ah, eh, maybe this isn't healthy for people. The Lover's card was out and it was reverse. And then out of nowhere, like, I think the Chariot card, which is Cancer's card, came out as well. But it was reversed and it was just like, huh, what was that? And the next thing I know, this dude's hitting me up with ridiculous shit. There you go. There you go. Just get hair all over my painting, that's fine. I need that anyway. <laughs> Just don't fucking scratch it, because I, I think you're thinking of that, kitten. But yeah, like, his card came out, or those two cards came out, and I didn't know what to make of them until after he went on this gigantic ramble over some shit that I don't understand and then just lost the shit and like started shitting all over my house like not literally metaphorically like he just came on my channel and other places and was talking shit or whatever but my friend who I mentioned earlier who's a Sagittarius she saw his post saying does anyone else want to get blocked or whatever and she was just went up there and she was just like me with that little hand up emoji ah <laughs> uh, so I blocked her. But I remembered that with this for some reason, and I don't know why. So let's see. Nine of Pentacles with the Five of Pentacles in the energy, right? Mmm. You feel left out. You feel shit out of luck when it comes to love, it seems like. Um. For all the wrong reasons, I feel. When it comes to, like, romantic partnerships and that fulfillment, it's, like, it's for the wrong reasons. The fuck are the wrong reasons? Like, I don't know why, but every time I see the page of swords with these cards reversed like this, it's always, like, it's for the wrong reasons. It's, like, made up, or heard something shitty, or some other nonsense. Let's see. Because it's, like, every time you walk in with your, with your heart open, you just sit there... And you notice how things are going wrong. You get a sour puss on your face. What, kitten? What are you doing? You want pets. That's what you want. You want me to pet you. That's why you're up here. Trying to get attention. You do this every time I get cards, my love. Yes, you do. Oh, you rub that your face on that foot. That's adorable. Okay. Let's see. Hangman with the nine of wands. Not sure there's an offer going to be brought up to you from someone you don't even associate with. Or maybe you just feel like you're in the dark when it comes to, like, anybody. It's like, what did they offer me before? And why did it turn sour in the end? I think that's, like, the main quest for you. Let's see. Wants and wishes. Temperance card with the Queen of Pentacles. Could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, but I don't feel like it. It could just be anybody, honestly. It just feels like that kind of potential, you know? Let's see. Yeah, it's like you're not... Okay, you know how, like... Sometimes when you're give, you're listening to a friend and you give them advice, it's really awesome advice. But when you're put in the same scenario, it's like, what the fuck do I do? It's kind of like one of those. It's like you can give advice, but you can't follow your own. Uh, but you very seldom listen to it, like Alice said, right? And it's like you're not listening to yourself when it comes to, like, situations. And that's what's halting everything. Obstacles and challenges, communication, healing from the fact that you face defeat or whatever. Or maybe you're not getting... Oh, it's because you keep getting tempted by hoes without shoes to put hot dogs down her hallway. Like, look at that hole. Look, it's huge. It's huge. You feel like every time you try, you get defeated and, and like, tempted by these idiots. You know? And then it's always something that you bite off more than you can chew. Look at the bitch, she's trying to break the lion's jaw by opening it too wide. 
But then she gets her hand bit off. Honestly, like, this could be you, too, because this is also, uh, Nine of Wands right here. You're still kind of keeping guard. But then this person comes up, and they're just like, hey, you want to come over? And then you do, and then it, there you got their hands in your mouth, like, oh, and then it's like you bite their hand off. But it's also like, you know, you kind of let them stick their hand in your mouth to begin with. Yes, like, they shouldn't have been pulling some fuck shit. But, why did you allow them to come in and, and fuck... You saw the hole. You know how many hot dogs you can throw down there. You know how many? Too fucking many. And she ain't wearing no shoes. She still is not wearing shoes in these pictures. Hardly any of these bitches wear shoes in any of these pictures. Except in the older versions where, like, you know... Shoes were kind of necessary. But... You know... Still let them in. Still let them in. And I think that's the obstacle and challenge. It's like, you know. There might be something you're seeing with them that makes them look angelic or precious. But you never look at their feet. Which is a weird thing to notice about people. I mean, I don't even like feet. I think feet are gross, personally. But, like, it's like you're not, there's something about their feet, or maybe where they move, or where they go, or some shit. It's like following a path or something. Alright, six of swords with the five of wands, and the fears of rejection. It's having to move on, because it's too much dick showing, right? Even if something were to be resurrected with any of the people who you've dealt with before, it would just be a zombie addition. It's like you're just what it's like you want to move on from all these people trying to demonstrate your bravado because it would just be an empty shell of what you actually want. You know? And it's like, do I really have to pick through all of this shit? You know, there's a lot of fucking trash in the sea, and that's all I found is like Coke and Bud Light six pack plastic thingy the bobbers that kill fish and turtles and such. I only got a book. Let's see. Yeah, this uh nine of cups is now a nightmare, like whatever the dream was. It feels like you've defeated everything though. But now you're questioning whether or not like love could be even found or possible or if there's even any potential for you to partner up with somebody to begin with, um, you're trying to blend your candle with the sun, trying to put your truth with the truth to figure out what is and is not, when it comes to who you should be idolizing, or if anyone will ever idolize you. You know, how this shit starts and how it'll end, you getting the victory by walking away from whatever it is that's keeping you in this mentality, right? You know, thinking, like, you're good. It's it'll possibly lead you to a situation where you will find someone who will work with you in order to make you feel secure. So what, you need to stop being paranoid? Hmm. It's like delivering something to the dark to somebody you don't even know, either. Let's see. Ooh, the Emperor. He isn't administering any control. He's just letting whoever make decisions when it comes to the judgment call right here. He's got his back turned to it. Okay. Really? My phone just linked off again for some reason. Oh, because it's 100% charged. That's why. Okay, so let's get back to the gum. Well, these are the first two that fell out, so that's the first two we'll take. Okay, so Sagittarius and Cross Watchers with this energy where someone feels like love isn't there's a love here, but it's like it's for all the wrong reasons. Whether it's a person or people from your past, it's always for the wrong idea or the wrong reasons. And for some reason, it, it, it left you feeling out in the cold. It made you more comfortable being by yourself. 
you know, you felt like you you're gonna have to walk away from somebody who Queen of Swords here, but like, I mean, like, she's definitely listening to the wrong shit, and it might impossibly make her go, or this dude's leaving from her because she hears the wrong things, it puts her in fight mode, and it's like, oh no, I'm not hanging out with this bitch, she likes blood on her face. I was telling somebody that, and I can't remember what sign it was, but it's like, when she's like this, it's like she doesn't stop when there's blood on her face, and it's usually not her blood. So, that's the kind of job, it's just like, you don't even deal with this kind of person. But I mean, it could be a mix of you, too, because it's like, you could also hear something that, like, put you in a shitty mood and made you walk away, or some sort of information or whatever could be revealed that makes you, like, just jump the gun, or maybe you're just afraid that you're gonna hear something. That's going to make you want blood on your face. It could be either or Sagittarius. I don't know. You're more like the bubbly fat child that everybody loves in a <coughs> Alright. Situation. An offer is potentially in the dark. Like, dude might have fell asleep. Actually, that could also be, like... He doesn't know where he's going because it's like... He's dragging this with it. It's like attached to the horse. The whole scene. The whole part of that goddamn city is just on wheels. And somehow the water doesn't fall out because it's upside down. But it's like... This offer is constantly in the dark because this is always tagged along with it. The separation between two people from back in the day. Yeah, you gotta let that go. It's just the fish in the cup, man. You are surrounded by water. Just throw it in the fucking water again. It'll be alright. Like, you can dip your cup back in and get fresh water without a fish. Yeah, like I said, you had to get fish in the ocean anyway. With a king of pentacles, who is the counterpart to the queen of pentacles. It's like, okay, alright, I got you now. You are just the irritated queen of pentacles. King of pentacles is your counterpart, who is someone who always seems to sabotage shit. Like he, he, like, he knows he owes you that pentacle, but he's gonna rub it on his bison and make sure it's covered in shit before he gives it to you, just to make sure you don't ask for any more of the rest of it, right? But he'll give it to you, and he's that petty. He could also be a liar, too. Also, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, you know. In the wants and wishes, um, someone is not letting this truth fly out. Could be you, could be whoever, sad and cross-watcher. That they don't want to let things die. Or nothing's dying the way it should be. It's just zombies laying on the ground, but they can't do anything. They can just munch grass a little bit, you know? But they're incapable of getting back up because death's still in the area. I mean, if death left, they might get up and do something. Kind of like the zombies in this one. But he hasn't left. He's just standing there like, why is there been fucking zombies? Like, aren't you supposed to be over at wherever you're supposed to be? I think the fuck not over here. Like, what is going on? Okay. Well. Someone still got a pairing on their mind that they need to just throw the swords in the fucking shore and just be like, you know what? I'm done carrying this. So that's why there are still zombies around. Yeah, it's like you're dragging this portion of like how everything went down with someone with the past. You're dragging that. And that's keeping all the zombies alive. So now all the zombies are just everywhere, and you just keep picking certain ones up and being like, you know what? Maybe you can, maybe you can live again. And then it's just like, you know what? Never mind. Just fall on the fucking ground. It's like a continued. Uh... It's like. Man, I hate using this example, but you know that whole law of attraction shit, how, like, um, if you keep something in your head, basically you're asking the universe for it? I don't believe that's the case. I think you can think whatever the fuck you want, and the universe isn't gonna do anything unless you verbally say it, because you seem to need to do that with spells. So, I would figure it's the same way if you're just talking directly to the universe. But that also doesn't make any sense, because that you are the universe, so it's, you know, whatever. Um... Either way, it's kind of like, 
it's almost like you are intentionally pulling all these zombies to you because you won't let go of the one person who wasn't a zombie that bit you but they did turn you into the zombie because they had the zombie disease and now you're just worried you're gonna get bit by a zombie again I mean you got you're getting over that shit you don't want to be a zombie nobody wants to be a zombie hey baby Hi. but like <laughs> you're desperate not to be a zombie but you, but you keep running into them. That's because, like, <laughs> fortunately, you've been infected by it, so you can smell them out and go in different areas. I'm actually making that part up. I'm sorry. Anyway. Obstacles and challenges. Every time this no-shoe-having bitch comes around, it ends up making her bite off more... Well, it makes her bite off more than she can chew in regards with you, but at the same time, you could be the person trying to, uh get someone to let their guard down and then you end up with your hand bitten off by like Fenrir because you want to be Tyr and decide to do dumb shit. Like invest in people, right? Like it could go either way. Like either people tempt you and then you have to bite their hand off which makes you feel like shit or you're doing this to people and then you, th you get your hand bitten off because it's like you didn't pay attention to whose face it was that was watching that guard that you decided to seduce with your hole. Uh, and I mean the hole like the cave because you could throw a lot of hot dogs down that way. Let's see. Yeah, it's kind of hard to dump these emotions. They keep hitting you back in the face because the water's upside down. King of Cups. Got you all in your feels. And that just makes you want to fuck up people. Uh. <coughs> it's like that hitting you back in the face draws all this combat all over again. That's what you're trying to get away from. You or the person you're dealing with, but it's like it's constant. Like, it's like, if there's a potential, at some point, you're going to have to learn how to let the actual mental issue go. Because it's like you drop the swords before you ever get off the boat. It's like, here are my issues. Um, let me know about yours. Have you worked through all of your trauma? You know, like, as if people know exactly um, what the fuck you're talking about. Because, you know, it's kind of weird. I will say, a lot of people don't like talking about bad things because it makes them feel bad. You know, in Sagittarius, you were one of the signs who were perfectly <laughs> cool with that, and sometimes, I mean, I do it especially, I'm Sag rising. Sometimes you don't realize that you're doing it to people, and then it makes you all sad, and then you're just like, oh, well, fuck people, I'll just fuck them all up, I don't give a shit. It's like, nah, man, just chill. Like, you don't have to lay shit out for people. You know, giving them a warning makes them feel like they should just stay away from you sometimes and probably, you know, whatever. I don't know who I'm saying this to. I feel like someone needs to hear that. <laughs> but it's like, you don't have to tell people what your problems are. Like, that's why there's the word you're in front of it. Like, you know, what, uh, what does Earth the Kid say? Um, I love me and I want to share myself with someone who loves themselves you know you're sharing who you are with the person you're not I don't know how to explain it like you're not it's not that whole becoming one thing because it doesn't make any sense you're still two fucking people but I feel like you're kind of like somebody here is like definitely des I I, uh, I found I still I sound such a like a la 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 if I could talk today thank you I sound like kind of like a jerk but I'm not meaning to but it's like someone is um, looking for someone, and I'm not trying to be rude here, but you know, take it as you will, um, someone's kind of looking for a therapist, <laughs> which is weird, because it's just like, no, man. 
like they aren't even paying attention to the fact that you have problems. They probably don't even care. But it's like, you know, like, oh, if you accept this apple, here you go. <laughs> but you're staying on the boat, too? It's like, it's almost like you throw your shit out there before you ever even get the chance to see if you like the land. And it's always while someone's back is turned, too. And this doesn't have to be you, but, like, Sag and Crosswatchers, it kind of has got that vibe to it a little bit, you know? Anyway, we got a book really quick. It's kind of making you feel a little bit guilty about how you always get caught up in the same shit. Feeling like there's no commitment anywhere. Feeling like there's nowhere to go. It's just booty call, man, galore, you know? It's like it's, it, that's all you're focusing on, but it's like... Mm. Is that what, wait, is that what that is? It's like you're worried that the real, that, like what would happen in the relationship if you got into one, or whatever one it may be. And it's gonna end up like the last situation and that's why you always dump it off right when you get on the fucking dirty, dirty sand. You just throw it out there and be like, this is what I've dealt with. Will you parlay, you know? You're, like, you're asking people to parlay, and people are like, I've never watched Pirates of the Caribbean. I don't know what that, mer that word means. Um, uh, vanilla, you know. <laughs> I want a vanilla parlay. <laughs> Vinti. Oh, God. That does sound like a Starbucks drink. That sounds delicious, actually. But that might be what the issue is. It's like you're dumbing all the issues of past relationships at the backs of people and then sticking around on the boat and it's like if they don't notice like you know you, you row away in your boat if they turn around and notice you ask them parlay and then they think it's 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 a dessert cocktail and then like you would you leave when they don't get it and it's just like is that really fair <laughs> like you can't just bring questions on people like it's cash cab that's not cool, man. I, uh, get this, I've been watching some television as a lady, and it's amazing, because I forgot what TV was like. Let's see. Yeah, and the fears and rejections. Resurrecting zombies. Like you have been, you're worried about it. Mind you, they're not literal zombies, it's just, I feel like dead issues. Or something related to the dead issues, right? It's like biting, it, 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 it's like you played yourself and someone yanks you off your horse every time. And that's what makes you feel, okay, it's like just, is it just one instance? That one person who just fucked your brain up and now you're just like, what the fuck do I do? You, you let it go, as it says below. It seems like one person gets on your nerves to where, like, it's just riddling you with shit at night when you sleep. Or it bugs you when you sleep. Or you feel like you have to be defensive in some way. Or protect something, but it's like, you know, you're not really protecting anything other than the fact that, like, you tried to s possibly stab somebody with said swords. And then it fucked you up. And then it was like... Oh, now I have to defend myself from this lizard that breaks into my house while I'm trying to get some rest and heal from the situation. But it's like... Once you do, what do you do after that? You know, um... I don't know who's saying this, but it's like, just because, like, you're in a position to heal doesn't mean anything if you keep picking at the scabs, you know, it can't heal properly if you're picking at scabs. So, like, what do you do in the meantime while your scab is healing? Not pick at it, but you can do something else instead. I feel like whatever this focus is that you have is, like... It's not annoying as much as it is, um... I 
I feel like you're just mad because you can't get your way in a way, but not not in a negative way. I don't know, Sag, but that's what I'm feeling. But, but anyway, there we go. So let's see how this shit starts, how it'll end. Working with someone to meet your securities. Like, this is when you finally walk away from all this shit. Gain a victory, right? Is this what's supposed to happen, or is this what you're dreaming of? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was kind of mean. My apologies, but still, it's like, dude. Like, whoever I'm, I'm, I'm talking to. You. Let's see. Oh, uh, you feel like you're stuck in combat, so you don't e you haven't even figured out a lot yet. Like, if you... Mm. <laughs> like battles beyond your comprehension it's just like what the fuck is going on here what is all that clinging unless someone's making me lunch lunch mmm One more with that. Mm. Hmm. Okay, let's say Knight of Cups right here. Could be an alcoholic, right? Because, like, that's what I would say. He gets drunk and his horse drags him back to town from the bar every night, right? But alcoholism is also an issue. You will always be unaware of the issues another person has. Question is, are you going to do... Like, and they might come up with tricks and shit, or this could be you doing tricks and shit. Um... To either get with them or to run the fuck away over here to the combative nature and the hurt feelings once again. It's like, um, you might find another person that they might have issues that like leads them to other things in order to cope with those issues. But it's really up to you to deal with what decisions you make with this person. I think you guys are the longest reading so far, yeah. Um, yeah, it doesn't work out the way it's charging here. Um, whoever's charging in with their tricks and jumping all over sphinxes and shit. Um, some ain't gonna work. Either their tricks ain't gonna work, they're running away ain't gonna work. I don't know. Some ain't gonna work. Anyway, this has been a long enough video. Sagittarius, that was your... <laughs> February reading. I, I do think that you guys might be the longest reading so far. Kudos. Um, I hope this helps y'all out, and I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it, but you ain't got to do it if you don't want to. Okay? Okay. Uh, Alright, I'll see you guys later. I love your faces. Take care. Bye-bye.